Hey everyone, this is Joe, and I wanted to make a quick video discussing why I was making such a big deal about hard coding and my feedback on the last assignments. So let's get into a code example. Alright, so here is a student's code for the chessboard problem from the loops assignment. And here's what it looks like in the browser. Alright, looks good. This is functioning great. Alright, so the student hard codes quite a bit of information here. Now they don't hard code the dimensions, which is nice, because then I can come down here and I can change this from instead of a 9 by 9 chessboard, I can make it a 10 by 10. So I can change this value right here, and then I get um, I, I get to change the dimensions just by changing it here instead of having to change it all throughout the source, and that's nice. But let's say I wanted to change the colors or the size of the squares. This is all hard-coded in. Um, so for example, the background color, hard-coded all in right here and hard-coded right here. I can't make easy changes here. I have to go through the source and make multiple changes in order to accommodate the different changes I might want. Okay, so now let's take a look at my version of this program. So right here, it looks about the same. Stylings are slightly different with the table borders, but here's the important part. Let's take a look at all the variables of I have to find here. In the source where I'm actually iterating through and making the tables, uh, I have nothing but variables here. You see very few hard-coded values. Uh, like the most hard-coded thing you might see is two, which you know we're just using mod two to check for even or oddness. But beyond that, everything is in terms of variables. And why is that important? Why did I make that such a big deal? Since I made everything in terms of variables, I can make as many adjustments as I want all by changing these variables. For example, let's say instead of black as the back of the dark color, the secondary color, let's say I want blue. All I have to do is use the hex code for blue, which one of them is like 000099. I change that right here, and then all the squares change. Or perhaps um, I want Instead of white, I want yellow squares, so then I can use the hex code for yellow here. I have to only change it in one spot, and then I go back here, and the change is applied. And there's many more changes I can make, because I generalize the idea of the size of the squares, so I can greatly increase the size of the squares by altering this variable here, and then that change happens. And then perhaps I want more squares as well. I want a 15 by 15 grid instead of a 9 by 9 and let me make the square smaller. So 15 by 15 smaller squares. And we see that just by having things defined in terms of variables, it greatly increases the flexibility of the program. I don't have to go through and make many changes in many different spots. And what's nice about this is that another developer could come in to the source and they can make the changes that they need based upon the variables here. Instead of having to go through all the logic that I went through, all they have to do is see the variables, make the assumptions based upon the good variable names, like num rows will give them the number of rows and that's what it stands for. So when they alter those variables, they can expect the results that they're looking for to take place. And this makes things a lot easier. All right, so let's revert these colors back to their original. Primary was white, which is all Fs. Secondary was black, all zeros. And let's get the size back to 30. So another example here, what if instead of white in the top left, I wanted black at the top left, and I still wanted the colors to alternate? Well then, I can just switch these values right here. And there we go. This is the power of variables. This is the power of not hard coding. And that's why I'm making it such a big deal. Because when you get out of the habit of hard coding, and you start using variables primarily throughout your program, you get this sort of flexibility. So, hope you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions.